Hi everyone. I wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, share my thoughts on why I believe there is a God. And before I do, <clears throat> I want to go over um, what an atheist is and and um, how many people in the world are atheists and um, and then explain like why I believe in God and how that and how that correlates to what I'm talking about. So basically the simplest um, definition for atheist, someone doesn't believe in the existence of God, doesn't believe um, we're God is not real. Um, that's basically an atheist. And someone doesn't believe in um, a heaven or a hell. So there's over seven billion people in the world today um, as of January 2023. So um, the atheist, when I'm doing my research, what I found is um, most of the atheists in our planet live in China, um, going by proportion size, like meaning that 78, about 78, 79 percent of the people live in China or atheists, not like, but I'm not saying 78, 79 percent of the people that live in China are atheists, that's not, but, but proportion size. Um, in America, it's 25 percent, but total worldwide on our planet, it's, it's in the hundreds of millions, it's like maybe, I think from what I read, it's over 400 million, and, um, where I got my research, um, you can check out yourself, and you read the same thing I was reading. Uh, it's Colin Ma Colin Mathers, M A T H E R S. Um, the website. It's Colin Mathers. Um, he was someone that used to work for the the World Health Organization, and uh, for almost 20 years, and uh, he was one of the jobs he was he did the uh, longest at when he was working for WHO um, he did official health statistics and um, so he left the WHO retired from there so now he has a regular website and where he spends his time doing research on different things and um, the total atheists in the world and different countries and proportion and percentage was one of the things that he was did research on, which I thought that was interesting because I didn't, had no idea that was that many atheists in the world. Um, but uh, I wasn't sure if it was China. But he also said that um, on his research that the Islamic countries like Iran and, and so forth, uh, it's very, very low, like less than 3%. So, um, also what I want to talk about is why I believe in God. You know, everybody's body is the same as far as like when we, when we come out of our, uh, our mother's womb. Um, we we all have two arms. We all have two legs. We all have two eyes. We have a nose. We have a mouth. Everybody knows this. I understand that. But you have to look a little bit deeper into that. Why that is, and someone had to have like a really thought process, intelligence to 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 make us this way. Because um, it just makes sense. Because there's because. Um, we could have came out so different. Um, so what I mean is that, like, someone knew that for us to live in this world, to do certain things, like, let's say, take our eyes, for example. We all have two eyes, right? So if we have two eyes and we're driving down the road, it's it's easier to see 
left and right. You know, it's um, it's it's just easier if we have we have two arms. If we just had one arm, imagine how difficult it would be, harder it would be just to walk or run. You know, we would be off balance. There'd be a lot more people falling, injuring themselves. We we just have one mouth. We just need one mouth to eat. We don't need two mouths, three mouths to eat. We have... God gave us teeth to chew our food. Because how can we chew our food without teeth? I mean, if we if we want like a, something like steak or almonds, something that's hard, you know. Um, he gave us a nose with two holes to breathe so we could breathe oxygen and live. There's no sense of making a nose if it doesn't have holes because then you would just die. Um, we have two feet. Imagine trying to drive a car or a truck or a motorcycle with one foot. How difficult that would be. How more we would have a lot more accidents on the road. Um, so we have two ears. You could hear a lot better with two ears and one ear. Of all these things I'm talking about. You know, so if everybody knows this, why is there such a thing as the atheist? That's my point. You see, so if if I don't understand that, like if you're if you're an atheist and you don't believe in a God that that gave us all these things and it makes sense, everything makes sense. Why we have two arms? I like to embrace someone. I have a fiance, and. When, when I when I saw her a couple months ago, when I give her a hug, it feels so much better when I put two arms around her instead of just one arm around her because, you know, you, you have that, that warm sensation, that feeling of love. You give that person that embrace, you know, it's, it just means so much more, especially to a woman. Um, so... Um, that was my that was my whole point um, when I was talking to my dad about it and he's like yeah he's like Mark everybody knows that of course everybody knows that I understand that I get it everybody knows that but my point was if everybody knows this why is there people that don't believe in God you would think that somebody would have to it's a, it's, would have to think of it you know what I mean? We have to think of it to, to make sense. There's a purpose. Every part of our body has a purpose. You know, it's like a carpenter. If you're building a, a porch, right, um, there's a reason why you put steps on it to make it easier to go up and down. There's a reason why if you build a house, you don't just build a house with a front door with no lock on it. You put a lock on it. You know, that that requires thought, intelligence, and common sense. So God, in his infinite wisdom, intelligence, had a lot of common sense. Think about it. You know, that's that that was my whole point, you know. Um, it could be anything like there's a reason why we have windows. In cars, there's a reason why we have a lot of things that make sense when you think about it, you know. Stoves, you know. Would it make sense to make a stove where you can turn it on but you can't turn it off? You know. But that's just my two cents, like um, why I don't understand when people say they don't believe in God. It, it doesn't make sense to me, you know. Because if there was no such thing as God, okay, why do we have two legs to walk and we could just have one? We could have had 
one arm. Like, how, how can you, like, do certain jobs? I mean, a lot of jobs would be really, really difficult to be just doing one arm, you know? <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah. But anyway, that's, that's what I want to say. And, uh, and I'm not judging anybody. I'm not putting anybody down that they're atheists or something like that. But, but uh, I, I just want to give my viewpoints on it and my thoughts on it. And anyway, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you for watching.